Hey guys, and welcome to my DVD collection video where I'm going to talk all about my favorite science fiction sci-fi films. I've gotten uh, probably about a hundred or so requests to do this one, and for some reason I never got to it. So I went through and found some of my favorites, and there probably be, probably at some point be a part two of this, because I know I didn't get to all of them. The, f the first one I picked, and if I didn't pick this, I know I'd get a lot of grief is the Star Wars trilogy, the original. And I'm not the hugest, hugest fan of these films, but I always liked um, The Return of the Jedi. I believe that's the last one. That was the one I always liked the best. The one with the Jabba the Hutt and all that. And I have the other DVD of this, which is the original version, you know, without all those new effects and stuff added into it. I think the originals were always the best, you know, before they added a bunch of new stuff to them. And when it comes to the new ones, you know, part one to three, I always like the third one the best. So it's like I like the third one of the new series and the third one of the old one best. And I also picked, and somehow I saw this these films before I saw the Star Wars films as, as a kid. I don't know why. I don't. I didn't even know they were Star Wars when I first saw them. I saw these at like four or five. Um, the, the Ewoks. And originally I think they didn't even say Star Wars. I think they used to just say the Ewok Adventures on the tapes. I really like these movies. I know a lot of people didn't and they said some negative things about them. I don't know why. I just always loved these films and I watched them as a kid. I, I was always renting them all the time. The next one I picked is The Invasion of the Body Snatchers. The, and this is the 70's one. There was one in the 50's there was one in, I think, the 80s. There was one in the 90s. I watched the 90s one. I watched the 50s one. And there was that new one called The Invasion with Nicole Kidman, which I didn't care for that new one that much. The Invasion, this is my favorite of all of them. And I also like the 50s one a lot. But this one, I always, I liked a lot. This is a good one. The next one is, it's more, it's a sci-fi comedy, I would consider it. The Explorers with Riven Phoenix and Ethan Hawke as a kid. I, I like this movie a lot. This is something I watched as a kid all the time. It's about these kids going out, building this um, spaceship out of these old carnival parts, like this carnival ride thing, going up into space. This is a really good one. Everyone should check this one out. It's one of those 80s movies that pe not as many people remember as things like Back to the Future and some of the others. And I was going to put Back to the Future in this, but I think that's more... I guess you could say that's science fiction, but I talked about that in another video, and I think I said favorite comedies or something, so I'm trying to keep these all different. Another one I said for science fiction, and this one people didn't like, and it's become kind of forgotten about. I don't know why either. I really enjoyed it and always liked it. It's a Steven Spielberg's film, AI, Artificial Intelligence. There's been a lot of like speculation about how much of this is Kubrick's. That's what everyone's always saying. Kubrick's, I, and I think Kubrick probably wrote all the ideas and a lot of the plot and stuff, but this is a really good one. It's a really sad movie, though. It has a really sad ending. It's about this, it's sort of like Pinocchio as, as a robot. It's kind of, if you see it, you know what I mean. But I really enjoyed this one, and I never understood why it was so disliked. Another one was Bruce Willis's film, um, Twelve Monkeys, and this is a movie about I always forget the plot of it. It's about a, like a guy in space, no, in a nut house or jail, and goes into this machine and it takes into different universes and different worlds, something like that. I always forget the plot. I always remember though it was filmed in Baltimore, a few sequences, and one of them was filmed at the Senator Theater, which is like five minutes from my house. This is where John Waters always does his movie premieres. Another one, and I don't think people like this one very much, and it was kind of another forgotten about one and I and I saw it in theaters and really liked it. I don't I think I liked it too because I don't remember it had having a lot of that like a lot of movies now science fiction ones use a lot of like over CGI like too much and it takes you out of the movie. I don't remember this one using bad CGI or too much. And it was the time machine. I think and it stars um Guy Pierce who I remember from Ravenous, which is a must-see movie. I absolutely love Ravenous. And this is a remake of the original. I never saw the original. Maybe that's why I like this one better. Or maybe I just want the reason why I like this one. But it's a, it, I liked it. It's a good time travel movie. And I would definitely recommend this. I really liked it. 
but I don't know. I I really don't know how other people liked it. The next one, of course, is Terminator 2. This is in that tin thing. I also have the Blu-ray version, but it doesn't have any features at all. It has like a commentary. This is another must-see movie. I think out of all the Terminators, this is my favorite one. I've actually watched only watched the third one once in the theaters. I thought it was all right. And the first one I saw a couple times. This is the one that I've watched all the time. And Edward Furlong is great in it. The next one is sort of another sci-fi comedy. And it's The Men in Black. The first one. The second one was pretty good. The first one, though, was one of the best. And, um, and you know, everyone probably knows this. It shows Tommy Lee Jones and Will Smith. And this is the two-disc. I don't think they make this version anymore. It's in this thing. And it had, um this like drawing thing inside of it something and I, it's something with this something like that and it's signed but it's normally those you know scan signature things the next one is E.T. I that's a it's a classic film something I always liked I don't like this version though um, this new one you know the new release because they edit out the guns and they change some of the language. Don't watch that one. If you can find this set anymore on eBay, it's been discontinued and off the market in stores. You can find this version, the you know new release, but this DVD comes with the original version as well. A lot of people have complained about this. I don't know if everyone realizes that the, this version is available, but only in this set. It's not available in um, any other sets. And I picked this one. I just always liked this movie. I know it's a bad movie. I, at least people say it is. And it's the first Starship Troopers. For some reason, I like this movie. I don't know. I like movies that are set on planets like this. and I don't know. I just always liked it. The next one is one of the Arnold Schwarzenegger movies I just love watching. And I don't know if it's on HD yet. It may be on on Blu-ray, I mean, in a since HD's dead, so I'm not putting any more money into that. But it may be out, I'm not sure. It's Total Recall, and this is in this tin. For some reason, this didn't sell well, this tin. And it ended up in the $5 bin at Walmart a couple years ago. I don't know why. I thought it was a cool little thing. I guess people don't want it in a tin like this. It's in this, in case people want to see what it looks like inside. And it's got this little booklet, and the disc is just in there on top of this stuff. It's a cool tin. I mean, I, I thought it was kind of cool. It's it's kind of you know, basically it's just this. I mean that's the, and I guess people don't like that idea, but I thought it was a cool idea. The next one is another Arnold Schwarzenegger one I liked, called The Sixth Day, and there might be a um, director's cut or a different cut of this out somewhere. I don't remember, but I always really liked this movie. I think this is coming to H, I mean to Blu-ray or it may already be out. And this one is a is another must-have. It's the Alien Quadrilogy set. It has Aliens 1, you know, Alien, Aliens, Alien 3, and Alien Resurrection. I think Alien 1 is definitely the best. And uh, Alien 2 is pretty much close to being just about as good. Alien 3, I, I, I used to think I liked that. I watched it back again. Didn't like it that much because I watched the theatrical cut. I think if you're going to watch it, watch the extended 30-minute version, 30-minute longer version. It it has better pacing, and it, I don't know, it's just a better movie. It's a better version of the movie. And Alien Resurrection, I liked. It wasn't, like, the best film or anything, but I really, I, I thought it was good. And the director did City of Lost Children and Amelie and um, a few other ones. City of Lost Children is another. I don't have that DVD because my dad borrowed it. And I never got it back, so hopefully at some point I'll get that back. And the next one is Close Encounters of the Third Kind, another Steven Spielberg film. He did this before E.T., a couple of years, about, I don't know, I think 78. This is a very good one. It stars Richard Dreyfuss. That, I mean, everyone knows about that, though. The, the next one I picked was Charlton Heston's The Omega Man. And this was the second of the I Am Legends movie sort of remake or re-envisionings. The first one was The Last Man on Earth with Vincent Price. You can find that DVD in the dollar set bins and dollar sets because somehow it ended up in the public domain. So there's also an MGM one DVD out for like $10. I don't, I haven't looked at that one yet. But I really like this. This is the 70s version starring Charlton Heston. This is a, 
I think a must own. This is the Blu-ray, and it looks really good in Blu-ray. The dark, the darks in it are a little, you know, pastel and, you know, blocky, just a teeny bit, but it's a really good one. And um, oh yeah, and I Am Legend is coming out in a week or so, and um, I'm gonna buy that Blu-ray one. Hopefully that one has it as well. But there's rumor that the Lost Boys 2 trailer. By now, if you're seeing this later, you've probably already seen it, but apparently it's supposed to be premiering on that at some point on MTV as well. Um, and there's also the Twilight Zone, the movie. I think this is sci-fi to a you know degree. I would I think it's what's well, sci-fi horror. I really enjoyed this one. Um, I haven't seen as many, that many of the eighties show. I don't know if, I think this one is supposed to fit in that series more because after that this movie came the eighties series. I never saw I don't think I've ever seen any of them. I saw the you know the original series. The next one is a kind of forgotten about sci-fi film, Screamers, and it's about these things under the ground that like kill you and like they shoot. It's a weird little thing and they scream and it's that stereotypical sound effect scream. If anyone has the link to that, I've always been looking for that scream. It's that weird one they had it in Serial Mom when the guy stabbed in the bathroom. It's a weird scream. But you hear it in all these movies. And I've actually heard that there's going to be a Screamers 2, apparently. I don't know what company's making it. I believe it's direct to DVD, but it's interesting that they're finally making it. The next one is Seth Green's film, Ticks. And this is sort of a sci-fi horror. I, I realize I never talked about it. I think this is a good video to mention it. It's about these killer tick bugs. I don't know if they were... I forgot if they were aliens. I remember Clint Howard was in it and gets killed in this really ridiculous death. The next one is a definite sci-fi film, and a definite must-see, must-own film, um, Night of the Comet. And I really, oh, I've always loved this movie, and there's been rumors for years they're going to be remaking it, or they're going to be making a sequel. I know the one girl that, who was in it wanted to make a sequel, and it, I guess it fell through. It's about, like, the this comet, and everyone dies. Like, they all go out to watch it, and they, you know, turn into dust, and it's just a few people left in this world, and some people weren't infected that bad, and they become, like, zombie-like people, like creatures that are, like, wanting to kill them. It's only PG-13, surprisingly, so it's not, like, a real gory film, but it's a really good film. It has a great 80s music, you know, 80s, true 80s soundtrack. And another one is The Deadly Spawn. This was about like these alien creatures. Don't remember this well, I just remembered liking it a lot. It has a really cool cover to it. And I think Tim Sullivan, who did um, like 2001 Maniacs, worked on that. Another one, the cover for this is bad and wrong, is Mutant. And this is about like this town, it's like a zombie movie. About these, and they use cut pictures in the back. And it's from the other mutant movie. They they screwed it up. So the cover, the pictures on this are all wrong, and even the description isn't really right. But it's a it's a good movie. Another one. I get, this isn't even a real DVD. I got it at a convention. It's called Zero Population Growth. It's about they. There's no longer you can get have kids. You know people can't have kids because the population is too big and there isn't enough food. So they people have to get these dolls. And and if you have a kid, it's illegal, and you get killed, and the kid gets killed. If you can find this, check this out. I got this at like Chilith convention or one of the horror conventions. The next one is a movie that I think is a real scary movie, and really successfully scary, and really good effects, and it has CGI, but well done. And it's Event Horizon, and it's by Paul Anderson who did AVP. People didn't like that. I thought it was pretty good. It was okay. The second one was terrible. He did um, Resident Evil and a couple other ones. But Event Horizon is a really good... It's on a ship and these they're seeing these ghosts because of this spear thing. It's really hard to explain. The next one... I don't know if you consider these sci-fi or action. It's hard doing this video because some of these fit into so many categories. And I'd say I picked Escape from New York and Escape from L.A. This was from the 70s, and this was from the 90s. P this one, people didn't like as much. I really like both of them. I think it's worth checking out both. And this is the special edition um, of it. And this has 
the two disc one. And this is, they, they never did a special edition of this version. I don't think there was as much interest in this. At some point there may be. I don't know though. I know Kurt Russell liked doing them, so I don't think he would have a problem doing something for him. So that was my sci fi DVD collection. Some of my favorites. And like I said, at some point there may be a second volume of this because it was really hard picking, you know, just a few and and I, I wasn't sure on a few titles. There are a couple that I wanted to show, but I weren't wasn't sure if they fully fit in this or not. But anyway, thanks for watching and um thanks for everyone who subscribed to these videos and for favoriting them and for sharing them. So thanks a lot for watching.